Don't find fault, find a remedy. Anybody can complain. The only real mistake is the one from which we learn nothing. I'm not a tech guy. I'm looking at the technology with the eyes of my customers, normal people's eyes. As entrepreneurs, if you're not optimistic, you're in trouble. So the people I choose, they have to be optimistic. With artificial intelligence, we are summoning the demon. Many things are improbable, only a few are impossible. Complexity is your enemy. Any fool can make something complicated. It is hard to keep things simple. Respect is how to treat everyone, not just those you want to impress. None of us have pure thoughts. We all live in glass houses. I'm the one guy who says don't force the stupid people to be quiet. I want to know who the morons are. Obstacles are those frightful things you see when you take your eyes off your goals. Vision without execution is just hallucination. I found that the more you care about your team, the team will care about you and the team will care about their customers. I talk to all of my people, early days. Don't make me happy. Don't love me. Make your customer happy. Make your customer love you and I will love you any minute. Being an entrepreneur is like eating glass and staring into the abyss of death. For my part, I will never give up, and I mean never. Do not be embarrassed by your failures. Learn from them and start again. Business opportunities are like buses. There's always another one coming. If there was a template for success in sports, everyone would follow it. You do the best you can and trust the people you trust. I believe that starting any business should be as easy as a 10 year old starting a lemonade stand. Thinking is the hardest work there is, which is probably the reason so few engage in it. Any customer can have a car painted any color that he wants so long as it is black. When everything seems to be going against you, remember that the airplane takes off against the wind, not with it. It has been my observation that most people get ahead during the time that others waste. Quality means doing it right when no one is looking. Chop your own wood and it will warm you twice. Nothing is particularly hard if you divide it into small jobs. Coming together is the beginning. Keeping together is progress. Working together is success. If money is your hope for independence, you will never have it. The only real security that a man can have in this world is a reserve of knowledge, experience, and ability. Teachers always want their students to exceed them. So the responsible thing for me and the company to do is to let younger, 
more talented people take over in leadership roles. You should learn from your competitor, but never copy. Copy and you die. A good boss is better than a good company. Spending money is much more difficult than making money. I always find people smarter than I am. Then my job is to make sure smart people can work together. Stupid people can work together easily. Smart people can't. Intelligent people need a fool to lead them. When the team's all a bunch of scientists, it is best to have a peasant lead the way. His way of thinking is different. It's easier to win if you have people seeing things from different perspectives. When we see something is coming, we have to prepare now. My belief is that you have to repair the roof while it is still sunny. Opportunity lies in the place where the complaints are. Women balance the logic and the instinct. I would say this is the secret sauce of the company. Men think about themselves more. Women think about others more. If you want your business to succeed, it is critical to appoint enough female leaders. The very important thing you should have is patience. No matter what your current condition, how or where you grew up, or what education or training you feel you lack, you can be successful in your chosen endeavor. It is spirit, fortitude, and hardiness that matter more than where you start. One of the greatest discoveries a person makes, one of their great surprises, is to find they can do what they were afraid they couldn't do. Most people spend more time and energy going around problems than in trying to solve them. If you always do what you've always done, you'll always get what you've always got. Whether you think you can, or you think you can't, you're right. Anyone who stops learning is old, whether at 20 or 80. Anyone who keeps learning stays young. Failure is only the opportunity more intelligently to begin again. You can't build a reputation on what you are going to do. You say I started out with practically nothing, but that isn't correct. We all start with all there is. It's how we use it that makes things possible. The whole secret of a successful life is to find out what is one's destiny to do, and then do it. There is no man living who isn't capable of doing more than he thinks he can do. You can't learn in school what the world is going to do next year. If there is any one secret of success, it lies in the ability to get the other person's point of view and see things from that person's angle, as well as from your own. Employers only handle the money. It is the customer who pays the wages. A business that makes nothing but money is a poor business. To teach that a comparatively few men are responsible for the greatest forward steps of mankind is the worst sort of nonsense. 
Obstacles are those frightful things that you see when you take your eyes off your goal. It is not usual to speak of an employee as a partner, and yet what else is he? If you had asked people what they wanted, they would have said a faster horse. If you can't admit a failure, you're not an entrepreneur. You are not a good business person. There's nothing brilliant about what you are doing. Sweat equity is the most valuable equity there is. Know your business and industry better than anyone else in the world. Love what you do or don't do it. It is so much easier to be nice, to be respectful, to put yourself in your customer's shoes and try to understand how you might help them before they ask for help than it is to try to mend a broken customer relationship. Your customers can tell you the things that are broken and how they want to be made happy. Listen to them, make them happy, but don't rely on them to create the future roadmap for your product or service. That's your job. Being rich is a good thing, not just in the obvious sense of benefiting you and your family, but in the broader sense. Profits are not a zero-sum game. The more you make, the more of a financial impact you can have. Money is a scoreboard where you can rank how you're doing against other people. Failure is an option here. If things are not failing, you are not innovating enough. No. I don't ever give up. I'd have to be dead or completely incapacitated. What I'm trying to do is to maximize the probability of the future being better. We need to figure out how to have the things we love and not destroy the world. My mentality is that of a samurai. I would rather commit seppuku than fail. If you go back a few hundred years, what we take for granted today would seem like magic. Being able to talk to people over long distances, to transmit images, flying, accessing vast amounts of data like an oracle. These are all things that would have been considered magic a few hundred years ago. My motivation for all my companies has been to be involved in something that I thought would have a significant impact on the world. You have to be pretty driven to make it happen. Otherwise, you will just make yourself miserable. I think there are too many smart people pursuing internet stuff, finance, and law. That is part of the reason why we haven't seen as much innovation. Engineering is the closest thing to magic that exists in the world. If you had to buy a new plane every time you flew somewhere, it would be incredibly expensive. If you get up in the morning and think the future is going to be better, it is a bright day. Otherwise, it's not. If something is important enough, even if the odds are against you, you should still do it. Luck is very important. Of course, you can't wait for luck, because it won't come. While you start a journey, luck may eventually come to you. Help young people. Help small guys. Because small guys will be big. Young people will have the seeds you bury in their minds. And when they grow up, they will change the world. 
Reading can give you a good head start. This is often what your peers cannot obtain. Compared to others, readers are more likely to know other industry strategies and tactics. I think everybody can be successful if you really try hard. When everybody else believe it, you have no chance. When only few people believe it, you believe it, you prove it, that's your chance. In the 21st century, no matter whoever you are or whatever your organization is, you should not pursue size and power. You should be good. Kindness is the strongest power. If you want your life to be simple, you shouldn't be a leader. My favorite movie is Forrest Gump. He said nobody makes money catching whales. People make money catching shrimps. So we serve small business. As entrepreneurs, if you're not optimistic, you're in trouble. So the people I choose, they have to be optimistic. If you want to grow, find a good opportunity. Today, if you want to be a great company, think about what social problem you could solve. If you've never tried, how will you ever know if there's any chance? Once in your life, try something. Work hard at something. Try to change. Nothing bad can happen. If you don't give up, you still have a chance. It doesn't matter if I failed. At least I passed the concept on to others. Even if I don't succeed, someone will succeed. The lessons I learned from the dark days at Alibaba are that you've got to make your team have value, innovation, and vision. If you don't give up, you still have a chance. Giving up is the greatest failure. If you want to be successful, Learn from the other people's mistakes. Don't learn from the successful stories. As a young boy, even today, I never thought I would be here. When I look back, every problem I met when I was a kid benefited me. I failed so many times, people probably know that I applied for so many jobs. Over 30 jobs, all rejected, not even got a chance. 24 of us interviewed for a KFC job. 23 got accepted. I was the only guy rejected. No matter how smart you are, you will encounter mistakes. I remember year 2001. We went to raise some dollar five million from venture capitalists in the USA and got rejected. I said we will come back raising a little bit more. You have to get used to failure. If you cannot get used to failure, just like a boxer, if you can't get used to being hit, how can you win? Never give up. Today is hard. Tomorrow will be worse. But the day after tomorrow will be sunshine. I'm coming to this world not to work. I want to come to this world to enjoy my life. I don't want to die in my office. I want to die on the beaches. It is remarkable how many things you can explode. I'm lucky I have all my fingers. I came to the conclusion that we should aspire to increase the scope and scale of human consciousness in order to better understand what questions to ask. 
Really, the only thing that makes sense is to strive for greater collective enlightenment. Most people can learn a lot more than they think they can. They sell themselves short without trying. When Henry Ford made cheap, reliable cars people said, Nah, what's wrong with a horse? That was a huge bet he made, and it worked. When you struggle with a problem, that's when you understand it. You want to have a future where you're expecting things to be better, not one where you're expecting things to be worse. The idea of lying on a beach as my main thing just sounds like the worst. It sounds horrible to me. I would go bonkers. I would have to be on serious drugs. I'd be super duper bored. I like high intensity. That's my lesson for taking a vacation. Vacation will kill you. When I started SpaceX, I thought that the most likely outcome was failure. And I think to have any other expectation would have been irrational. If you're trying to create a company, it's like baking a cake. You have to have all the ingredients in the right proportion. I don't create companies for the sake of creating companies, but to get things done. Starting and growing a business is as much about the innovation, drive and determination of the people who do it as it is about the product they sell. Pay attention to negative feedback and solicit it, particularly from friends. Hardly anyone does that, and it's incredibly helpful. I think it's very important to have a feedback loop where you're constantly thinking about what you've done and how you could be doing it better. Great companies are built on great products. There's a tremendous bias against taking risks. Everyone is trying to optimize their ass covering. People work better when they know what the goal is and why. It is important that people look forward to coming to work in the morning and enjoy working. Persistence is very important. You should not give up unless you are forced to give up. We're running the most dangerous experiment in history right now which is to see how much carbon dioxide the atmosphere can handle before there is an environmental catastrophe. I tend to approach things from a physics framework, and physics teaches you to reason from first principles rather than by analogy. It's okay to have your eggs in one basket as long as you control what happens to that basket. If you need inspiring words, don't do it. Life is too short for long-term grudges. Life on Earth must be about more than just solving problems. It's got to be something inspiring, even if it is vicarious. I think that's the single best piece of advice. Constantly think about how you could be doing things better and questioning yourself. I think it would be great to be born on Earth and to die on Mars, just hopefully not at the point of impact. Humans need to be a multi-planet species. There's a real opportunity to have a vertical takeoff and landing electric supersonic jet. I think it is possible for ordinary people to choose to be extraordinary. 
I could either watch it happen or be a part of it. I've actually made a prediction that within 30 years a majority of new cars made in the United States will be electric. And I don't mean hybrid, I mean fully electric. You don't learn to walk by following rules. You learn by doing and falling over. Train people well enough so they can leave. Treat them well enough so they don't want to. If somebody offers you an amazing opportunity, but you are not sure you can do it, say yes. Then learn how to do it later. My definition of success. The more you're actively and practically engaged, the more successful you will be. A business is simply an idea to make other people's lives better. To launch a business means successfully solving problems. Solving problems means listening. I am prepared to try anything once. Throwing yourself into a job you enjoy is one of the life's greatest pleasures. My interest in life comes from setting myself huge, apparently unachievable challenges and trying to rise above them. The brands that will thrive in the coming years are the ones that have a purpose beyond profit. Having a personality of caring about people is important. You can't be a good leader unless you generally like people. That is how you bring out the best in them. To me, business isn't about wearing suits or pleasing stockholders. It's about being true to yourself, your ideas and focusing on the essentials. Listen more than you talk. Nobody learned anything by hearing themselves speak. A company's employees are its greatest asset and your people are your product. A business has to be involving. It has to be fun. And it has to exercise your creative instincts. Have fun, work hard, and money will come. Don't waste time. Grab your chances. Have a positive outlook on life. When it's not fun, move on. The time to go into a new business is when it's badly run by others. Remember it's okay to be yourself. Never look back in regret. Move on to the next thing. If you look after your staff, they'll look after your customers. It's that simple. Every risk is worth taking as long as it's for a good cause and contributes to a good life. It is only by being bold that you get anywhere. If you are a risk taker, then the art is to protect the downside. If you aim higher than you expect, you could reach higher than you dreamed. Your employees are your company's real competitive advantage. They're the ones making the magic happen so long as their needs are being met. If I was a businessman or saw myself as a businessman, I would have never gone into the airline business. As much as you need a strong personality to build a business from scratch, you also must understand the art of delegation. I have to be good at helping people run the individual businesses, and I have to be willing to step back. The company must be set up so it can continue without me. As a leader of people, you have to be a great listener, a great motivator, be very good, 
it praising and bringing out the best in people. Always think, what's the worst that can happen? And have some kind of strategy to deal with it. You never know with these things when you're trying something new what can happen. This is all experimental. Don't become a slave to technology. Manage your phone. Don't let it manage you. The key is to set realistic customer expectations, and then not to just meet them, but to exceed them, preferably in unexpected and helpful ways. If you don't make bold moves, the world doesn't move forward. Never take your eyes off the cash flow, because it's the lifeblood of business. Any successful entrepreneur knows that time is more valuable than money itself. Spend more time smiling than frowning and more time praising than criticizing. Some 80% of your life is spent working. You want to have fun at home. Why shouldn't you have fun at work? If you follow your dreams and spend your life doing what brings you joy, you are more likely to find success. I never get the accountants in before I start up a business. It's done on gut feeling, especially if I can see that they are taking the mickey out of the consumer. Those who achieve great things are the ones willing to be scared but not scared off. If you dream big and take risks, impossible becomes just a word. Loyal employees in any company create loyal customers, who in turn create happy shareholders. Your brand name is only as good as your reputation. Doing good is good for business. Take a chance. It's the best way to test yourself, have fun and push boundaries. Above all, you want to create something you're proud of. My biggest motivation, just to keep challenging myself. I see life almost like one long university education that I never had. Every day I'm learning something new. Don't just play the game. Change it for good. If you want milk, don't sit on a stool in the middle of a field in the hope that a cow will back up to you. Screw it. Let's do it. Just get on with it and do it. There is no planet B we have to take care of the one we have. Enjoy life. You only get one. Talent without effort is wasted talent. And while effort is the one thing you can control in your life, Applying that effort intelligently is next on the list. After military service, the most patriotic thing you can do as a wealthy person is pay your taxes. I love to compete. To me, business is the ultimate sport. It's always on. There is always someone trying to beat me. There's no law against stupid. I learned that a long time ago. I create offbeat advice. I don't follow it. I rarely take third-party advice on my investments. Make sure you are the boss. I don't think I would encourage executives that work for me to blog. 
There can be only one public vision for an organization. Someone is out there looking to put you out of business. Someone is out there who thinks they have a better idea than you have, a better solution than you have, a better or more efficient product than you have. In the past, people used to tell me to shut up a bit, but what I believe is to put out your opinion and let everyone else react. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. I love being challenged and defending my positions, and when I'm wrong, learning from the exchange, it makes me smarter and better as a business person. Leaders don't look backwards to condemn what has already been done. They look forward to create a better future. Nice goes much further than mean. In my opinion, right now there's way too much hype on the technologies and not enough attention to the real businesses behind them. The number one job of the hedge fund manager is not to make sure that you can retire with a smile on your face. It's for him to retire with a smile on his face. Staying true to who I am was tougher when I first got wealthy. Having great friends kept me grounded. I try not to be an ideologue about anything. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. And I'm willing to evolve. I am telling you, the world's first trillionaires are going to come from somebody who masters AI and all its derivatives, and applies it in ways we never thought of. Whatever you are studying right now, if you are not getting up to speed on deep learning, neural networks, you lose. We are going through the process where software will automate software, automation will automate automation. Because if you're prepared, and you know what it takes, it's not a risk. You just have to figure out how to get there. There is always a way to get there. When you've got 10,000 people trying to do the same thing, why would you want to be number 10,001? Wherever I see people doing something the way it's always been done, the way it's supposed to be done, following the same old trends, well, that's just a big red flag to me to go look somewhere else. I can't say it enough that learning how to learn is one of the greatest skills anyone can have. It's why I advocate that everyone go to college. Leaders are not dogmatic. They are principled and know that change is never easy, but when it's necessary, they must lead. I'm not a fan of giving to charities. I have a few I support, but the overhead and inefficiencies really bother me. Instead, I pay people's bills and help solve problems. Automation is going to cause unemployment, and we need to prepare for it. I love helping entrepreneurs. It's something I really have fun doing. It's like planting a little seed and watching it grow. Shark Tank is fun, but it's all business. We use our own money and the competition between the sharks is fierce. More importantly, it's an opportunity to invest in businesses that are being watched and considered by millions of people every time it's shown. Concentrate all your thoughts upon the work in hand. The sun's rays do not burn until brought to a focus. 
Either you run the day or the day runs you. I am a greater believer in luck, and I find the harder I work the more I have of it. When we strive to become better than we are, everything around us becomes better too. Opportunity is missed by most people because it is dressed in overalls and looks like work. You've got to get up every morning with determination if you're going to go to bed with satisfaction. Don't judge each day by the harvest you reap but by the seeds that you plant. Just one small positive thought in the morning can change your whole day. One of the best pieces of advice I ever got was from a horse master. He told me to go slow to go fast. I think that applies to everything in life. We live as though there aren't enough hours in the day, but if we do each thing calmly and carefully we will get it done quicker and with much less stress. Whether you think you can or you think you can't, you're right. Time is an equal opportunity employer. Each human being has exactly the same number of hours and minutes every day. Rich people can't buy more hours. Scientists can't invent new minutes and you can't save time to spend it on another day. Even so, time is amazingly fair and forgiving. No matter how much time you've wasted in the past, you still have an entire tomorrow. Don't wish it were easier. Wish you were better. Do the hard jobs first. The easy jobs will take care of themselves. Developing a good work ethic is key. Apply yourself at whatever you do, whether you're a janitor or taking your first summer job, because that work ethic will be reflected in everything you do in life. Happiness is not in the mere possession of money. It lies in the joy of achievement, in the thrill of creative effort. Success means doing the best we can with what we have. Success is the doing, not the getting. In the trying, not the triumph. Success is a personal standard, reaching for the highest that is in us, becoming all that we can be. The future depends on what you do today. Do more than is required. What is the distance between someone who achieves their goals consistently and those who spend their lives and careers merely following the extra mile? The man who moves a mountain begins by carrying away small stones. Things may come to those who wait, but only the things left by those who hustle. Start by doing what's necessary, then what's possible, and suddenly you are doing the impossible. People rarely succeed unless they have fun in what they are doing. To think too long about doing a thing often becomes its undoing. Don't be afraid to give your best to what seemingly are small jobs. Every time you conquer one it makes you that much stronger. If you do the little jobs well, the big ones will tend to take care of themselves. Talent means nothing, while experience, acquired in humility and with hard work, means everything. You will never plow a field if you only turn it over in your mind. Don't wait. 
the time will never be just right. Success seems to be connected with action. Successful people keep moving. They make mistakes, but they don't quit. You don't have to see the whole staircase, just take the first step. Dreams can come true, but there is a secret. They're realized through the magic of persistence, determination, commitment, passion, practice, focus, and hard work. They happen a step at a time, manifested over years, not weeks. This is the real secret of life, to be completely engaged with what you are doing in the here and now. And instead of calling it work, realize it is play. Motivation is a fire from within. If someone else tries to light that fire under you, chances are it will burn very briefly. Nothing in the world can take the place of perseverance. Talent will not. Nothing is more common than unsuccessful people with talent. Genius will not. Unrewarded genius is almost legendary. Education will not. The world is full of educated derelicts. Perseverance and determination alone are omnipotent. Try not to become a person of success, but rather try to become a person of value. The secret of getting ahead is getting started. The secret of getting started is breaking your complex overwhelming tasks into small manageable tasks and then starting on the first one. Happiness is the real sense of fulfillment that comes from hard work. If I had eight hours to chop down a tree, I'd spend six hours sharpening my axe. Nothing is less productive than to make more efficient what should not be done at all. Let me tell you the secret that has led me to my goals. My strength lies solely in my tenacity. In a moment of decision, the best thing you can do is the right thing to do. The next best thing is the wrong thing. And the worst thing you can do is nothing. Luck is a matter of preparation meeting opportunity. It is not a daily increase, but a daily decrease. Hack away at the inessentials. Don't be afraid of hard work. Nothing worthwhile comes easily. Don't let others discourage you or tell you that you can't do it. In my day, I was told women didn't go into chemistry. I saw no reason why we couldn't. If you want to make an easy job seem mighty hard, just keep putting off doing it. It does not matter how slowly you go, so long as you do not stop. I am not a product of my circumstances. I am a product of my decisions. Plenty of men can do good work for a spurt and with immediate promotion in mind, but for promotion you want a man in whom good work has become a habit. Learn from the mistakes of others. You can't live long enough to make them all yourselves. Attitude is a choice. Happiness is a choice. Optimism is a choice. Kindness is a choice. Giving is a choice. Respect is a choice. Whatever choice you make makes you. Choose wisely. 
Amateurs sit and wait for inspiration. The rest of us just get up and go to work. There are no shortcuts to any place worth going. I would visualize things coming to me. It would just make me feel better. Visualization works if you work hard. That's the thing. You can't just visualize and go eat a sandwich. If you don't pay appropriate attention to what has your attention, it will take more of your attention than it deserves. A clay pot sitting in the sun will always be a clay pot. It has to go through the white heat of the furnace to become porcelain. If something is wrong, fix it now. But train yourself not to worry. Worry fixes nothing. Think of many things. Do one. Much of the stress that people feel doesn't come from having too much to do. It comes from not finishing what they started. Our greatest fear should not be of failure, but of succeeding at things in life that don't really matter. The price of success is hard work, dedication to the job at hand, and the determination that whether we win or lose, we have applied the best of ourselves to the task at hand. Once you have commitment, you need the discipline and hard work to get you there. Thirty years ago, my older brother, who was ten years old at the time, was trying to get a report written on birds that he'd had three months to write, which was due the next day. We were out at our family cabin in Bolinas, and he was at the kitchen table close to Terrace, Surrounded by binder paper and pencils and unopened books about birds, immobilized by the hugeness of the task ahead. Then my father sat down beside him, put his arm around my brother's shoulder, and said, Bird by bird, buddy. Just take it bird by bird. Whatever you do, do it with all your might. Work at it early and late, in season and out of season, not leaving a stone unturned, and never deferring for a single hour that which can be done just as well as now. It isn't the mountains ahead to climb that wear you out. It's the pebble in your shoe. There is no traffic jam along the extra mile. Your ability to discipline yourself to set clear goals and then to work toward them every day will do more to guarantee your success than any other single factor. Follow effective actions with quiet reflection. From the quiet reflection will come even more effective action. Spend 80% of your time focusing on the opportunities of tomorrow rather than the problems of yesterday. When you get into a tight place and everything goes against you, till it seems as though you could not hang on a minute longer, never give up then, for that is just the place and time that the tide will turn. You can't change how people treat you or what they say about you. All you can do is change how you react to it. Most of the important things in the world have been accomplished by people who have kept on trying when there seemed to be no hope at all. Failure is the condiment that gives success its flavor. Do not be embarrassed by your failures. Learn from them 
and start again. I have always believed, and I still believe, that whatever good or bad fortune may come our way we can always give it meaning and transform it into something of value. When we long for life without difficulties, remind us that oaks grow strong and contrary winds and diamonds are made under pressure. It ain't as bad as you think. It will look better in the morning. The truth is that our finest moments are most likely to occur when we are feeling deeply uncomfortable, unhappy, or unfulfilled. For it is only in such moments, propelled by our discomfort, that we are likely to step out of our ruts and start searching for different ways or truer answers. The best way out is always through. There are two primary choices in life. To accept conditions as they exist, or accept the responsibility for changing them. As long as they are well-intentioned, mistakes are not a matter for shame, but for learning. Show me a person who has never made a mistake, and I'll show you someone who has never achieved much. Strength does not come from winning. Your struggles develop your strengths. When you go through hardships and decide not to surrender, that is strength. You are never too old to set another goal or to dream a new dream. One of the symptoms of an approaching nervous breakdown is the belief that one's work is terribly important. When one door of happiness closes, another opens, but often we look so long at the closed door that we do not see the one that has been opened for us. I've learned that no matter what happens or how bad it seems today, life does go on and it will be better tomorrow. The only thing that overcomes hard luck is hard work. The best way to not feel hopeless is to get up and do something. Don't wait for good things to happen to you. If you go out and make some good things happen, you will fill the world with hope. You will fill yourself with hope. We can easily manage if we will only take each day, the burden appointed to it, but the load will be too heavy for us if we carry yesterday's burden over again today, and then add the burden of the morrow before we are required to bear it. If you focus on success, you'll have stress, but if you pursue excellence, success will be guaranteed. Success is nothing more than a few simple disciplines practiced every day. In order to succeed, your desire for success should be greater than your fear of failure. Successful people have libraries. The rest have big screen TV. Action is the foundational key to all success. It is not where you start but how high you aim that matters for success. The way of success is the way of continuous pursuit of knowledge. Success is doing ordinary things extraordinarily well. Do not judge me by my successes. Judge me by how many times I fell down and got back up again. 
Successful people don't have fewer problems. They have determined that nothing will stop them from going forward. The difference between a successful person and others is not a lack of strength, not a lack of knowledge, but rather a lack in will. If you start today to do the right thing, you are already a success even if it doesn't show yet. Success usually comes to those who are too busy to be looking for it. Many of life's failures are people who did not realize how close they were to success when they gave up. The successful warrior is the average man, with laser-like focus. I don't know the key to success, but the key to failure is trying to please everyone. There are no secrets to success. Don't waste time looking for them. Success is the result of perfection, hard work, learning from failure, loyalty to those for whom you work, and persistence. Always be yourself. Express yourself. Have faith in yourself. Do not go out and look for a successful personality and duplicate it. Whenever you see a successful business, someone once made a courageous decision. If you have no critics, you'll likely have no success. Success is knowing your purpose in life, growing to reach your maximum potential, and sowing seeds that benefit others. Success is liking yourself, liking what you do, and liking how you do it. Success is not final. Failure is not fatal. It is the courage to continue that counts. The road to success is dotted with many tempting parking spaces. The road to success is always under construction. Success is a little like wrestling a gorilla. You don't quit when you're tired. You quit when the gorilla is tired. Try not to become a man of success. Rather become a man of value. Success does not consist in never making mistakes, but in never making the same one a second time. You have to remember something. Everybody pities the weak. Jealousy you have to earn. The dictionary is the only place that success comes before work. Talent is cheaper than table salt. What separates the talented individual from the successful one is a lot of hard work. Judge your success by what you had to give up in order to get it. All successful people, men and women, are big dreamers. They imagine what their future could be, ideal in every respect and then they work every day toward their distant vision, that goal or purpose. The distance between insanity and genius is measured only by success. Don't be distracted by criticism. Remember, the only taste of success some people have is when they take a bite out of you. The true measure of success is how many times you can bounce back from failure. I'm a success today because I had a friend who believed in me and I didn't have the heart to let him down. Success will be within your reach only when you start reaching out for it. 
A man is a success if he gets up in the morning and gets to bed at night, and in between he does what he wants to do. The ability to discipline yourself to delay gratification in the short term, in order to enjoy greater rewards in the long term, is the indispensable prerequisite for success. Character cannot be developed in ease and quiet. Only through experience of trial and suffering can the soul be strengthened, vision cleared, ambition inspired, and success achieved. Success is stumbling from failure to failure with no loss of enthusiasm. Sometimes success isn't about making the right decision. It's more about making some decision. Success is a lousy teacher. It seduces smart people into thinking they can't lose. Success is most often achieved by those who don't know that failure is inevitable. 80% of success is showing up. Success is determined not by whether or not you face obstacles, but by your reaction to them. And if you look at these obstacles as a containing fence, they become your excuse for failure. If you look at them as a hurdle, each one strengthens you for the next. Failure is the condiment that gives success its flavor. No one lies long enough to learn everything they need to learn starting from scratch. To be successful, we absolutely, positively have to find people who have already paid the price to learn the things that we need to learn to achieve our goals. 7 Steps to Success 1. Make a commitment to grow daily. 2. Value the process more than events. 3. Don't wait for inspiration. 4. Be willing to sacrifice pleasure for opportunity. 5. Dream big. 6. Plan your priorities. 7. Give up to go up.